Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And uh, we're waiting on uh, delivery of uh, at least two products. They might come in two envelopes or they might come packaged as one. Uh, they arrived at the post office this morning at like 5, 10 a.m. And sure as hell about, oh, right about 7 I get a text from the post office since I signed up for updates and it goes, expect a delivery Thursday, March 12th. And I was like, horseshit. Horseshit. It's not 20 minutes later because I'm looking at it. And uh, all of a sudden I get another text, out for delivery. Okay, they're still not here. That was... Roughly two and a half hours ago. 300 feet to the post office, folks. And they haven't made it here yet. Well, what's new? So as soon as they do arrive, I will, uh, and then I'll get a, a thing. I'll hear them deliver it out there. So, uh, we got the LEDs plugged in today. I don't know if you noticed. Kind of cool. And uh, that's all we have for now. Let's uh, go do the intro, and I'll be back after the products arrive. All right, folks, so as you can see, both of the items arrived today. The uh, screen protectors here from... QHOHQ and uh, the Rio ear tips that I ordered. Uh, uh, soft foam. We'll be trying those a little later. But in this segment, first thing we're going to do is read all the instructions. And I'll get the phone out of the way and see what came in the box. I've already cut it open, of course, so as not to do the usual embarrassing thing. And we have uh, a microfiber cloth and a wet wipe and supposedly there's some sticky stuff in here too. Uh, yep, so you get three of those because you get three screen protectors. So. Let's uh, get one out of the box there. Check it out. And see what we have. Uh, I would have preferred a soft film one, but all I could find for this thing was the hard ones. Uh, we're going to have to clean the phone up, of course. And we'll follow all the instructions available. Just reading everything here. So, we're going to open one of these up, see what's inside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See what we got here. We should have a wet wipe, a tiny microfiber cloth, tear it off, all the dust and dirt, and one of them dust picker uppers. So let's see what's here. Put those two. The other two. And yep. One wet wipe. One uh, microfiber cloth. Not a very large one, but big enough. And then uh, these are for dust absorbent. We're going to do all three of those on the screen before we begin. 
and then we'll get it on there. So, in the meantime, we don't want to hear the cursing. I'm going to get it cleaned up, ready to go. Of course, this is labeled back, and apparently you peel this off and the sticky stuff is under here. That's where we're going with it. We'll find out. Be right back. All right, folks, I got the uh, tempered glass screen protector on the device. And let's see if it works with the in-screen fingerprint reader. Sure does. So, all being said and done, it plays very well. There's quite a bit of space between the edges of the screen protector and the case. So it, it'll be all right. So that means we can now just you know, lay this puppy down anytime we want. Even if the surface has a bunch of crap hole on. And we'll be okay, probably. We won't scratch that uh, nice gorilla glass on the hunt. Uh -huh. so, uh. Of course, we can still manage to drop it a few times, can't we? Yeah. We're still waiting on uh, Android 10 on this one. Yeah, so that's all we got on the screen protector front. Not a bad job for the first one I've ever tried. And now we're gonna check out these Rio ear tips. If I can get them out of the box, as usual. Temperature's completely totally retarded. Yeah, yeah, he is. Just is okay. Got them out. So, what do we got in here? Yeah. Let's check. Yeah. And there's a little button. So, you get some large ones here. And then. Huge difference in size. It's hard to tell. They, uh, there they are. So you got six ear tips in here. Replaceable size. Different sizes. I guess these are uh, more of the conical ones here. And these are kind of the, uh, more of the squared off ones there. And I'm guessing these two are the small ones. So we're going to get those over onto the elector here and check them out. Let's do that. This we can do on camera. There won't be as much cursing. These are pretty damn easily changed. <laughs> Off these are going out, and I will just pop them loose like so. And there's one conical small, and yeah, way bigger than I figured them being, but oh well. Another conical small, along with the SSC. Them away. Great. Uh, I have to figure out what they call small. I guess these are the smalls. They're awfully big compared to what I had. Yeah, they do. Uh, uh, well, we're going to destroy a set here. We're going to take off 
one, and this one, and we're gonna slip them on. They're a whole lot bigger, folks. A whole lot bigger. That's smaller, for sure. Uh, so, that's definitely small. Right. We've got our earbuds right here, ready to go and have ear tips. This works out. Yeah. Now, I hope so high. You clicked in the place and you're never coming out of that. I know that. Yeah, it appears to be all right. That's one. <laughs> yeah. Making sure I don't want these coming off my ears, folks. Seem to be on there pretty far. All right. Well, I guess we'll check them out real quick in my ears. And I'll come back with a report on that shortly. All right, folks. Last segment, I'll make it short. Uh, their idea of a small in these is way too large, and they just don't fit in my Elector charging case. What's the point of having a 2600 milliamp hour battery that'll do 16 recharges? And, uh, and that's if they're totally dead and not being able to use it. So as far as I'm concerned, these are a thumbs down. Now maybe you've got a lot more space. Maybe your your buds hang up a little higher down near the bottom than the electors do. We'll see. But I've taken these off and stuck the uh, little short barrel small ones from the Lecter rack in instead of the conical this time. And then uh, the other product was, of course, this. Uh, 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 what the hell is it called? Uh, the Q H O H Q tempered glass screen protector. And other than the fact that I you know, kind of totally screwed up installing it on the first try, never done one before, it still works. And it works with. The uh, in-screen fingerprint reader, it's a pretty good one. And you can also get this very same tempered glass screen protector for your Redmi Note 8. So either or, or available. The link to these will be also in the description below if you're interested in anything. Uh, I was less concerned about the electors since I'm sitting at home and why the hell would I ever put earbuds in when I can just sit around with the Soundcore 2 Life Q10s, also linked in the description below. Uh, if you ain't buying a set of those, you're crazy. You'll never find so much bass for under $50 as these, heads, that headset. So, all that being said, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Now I got a whole bunch of editing to do on that middle section where I was kind of muddling. So, we're done. Have a great day, folks. Catch you in the next one someday.